Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be a general uh, reading for you for the upcoming week ahead. I have included the dates in the title if you're interested. Um, if you wanted a private reading with me, all the information that you require is listed below. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Let's get straight into it. This reading is applicable for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this could be insightful for you for the upcoming week ahead. So let's get into it and see what's coming up for the sign of Aries. Okay, you've got the Priestess of Luck. This is very nice. Luck, synchronicity, auspicious events, places, people, circumstances. You've got someone looking out for you here. It could be a higher power. It could be someone that's passed. Um, it could be divine intervention here. Things will fall in your favor with the Priestess of Luck. Okay, this is very, very nice. You've got luck on your side. Luck with money. Luck with love. Luck with career. Um, luck with job. Uh, opportunities here as well she emerges from this martini gl glass almost like um you know voila like here i am would you believe um and it's very auspicious okay i do see you being a little bit surprised in the upcoming week with what's happening so you'll welcome in the change you'll absolutely welcome in the good fortune and the lucky windfalls so uh very very nice to see okay <clears throat> Now, I feel like uh, it's a bit unpredictable, okay? So unpredictability might be quite um, the theme for you, quite a strong theme for you. Uh, but it can be good luck, hard work, um, and money, okay? Very auspicious. Luck is definitely on its way, and you're ready to receive, okay? You're ready to accept, and you're ready to receive. It can be serendipity, okay? It can be in relation to love. So synchronicity, serendipity, meeting someone, okay? Under very auspicious circumstances and things evolving and transitioning in a very beautiful and a very effortless way. You know, it is associated with the number eight here. So uh, abundance, hard work, luck, uh, perseverance. And the four here is all about stability. So some sort of unpredictable opportunity will bring you uh, stability in this case as well. Let's have a look and see what else we can learn about this. Okay, what did you have? You have the seven of pentacles. It can definitely be in relation to money with the seven of pentacles. This is a large sum of money, reviewing a large sum of money or accepting a large sum of money with the seven of pentacles. Definitely could be in relation to assets here as well. Some of you might be very lucky to find your dream home, a dream car, dream asset, um, a good deal on a dream asset or a possession here. Uh, very good circumstances here. But you'll also see growth. This is all about growth happening, possibly in the financial realm, um, investments or something of the sort. But it could definitely relate to an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. This really points to um, a synchronous meeting. Possibly you've got a cancer here or an earth sign that's coming through. So possibly a very um, beautiful meeting or connection happening with this person. Possibly through career, you know, it's not always love related. The judgment card could indicate someone's critiquing your work. You'll be very lucky because your work, your contributions will fall into the right hands here. Okay, so it's being at the right place at the right time. I think that's a major theme for you. Could definitely be in relation to career here. Uh, making more money, seeing growth in investments, return investments, return funds. Um, and things getting a lot more serious, okay? Analyzing, seeing major, major growth here, which is very positive. You also have the judgment card. Now, this can often indicate beautiful karma coming in your direction. I say it's a good karma because with the Priestess of Luck, she often brings a very auspicious and positive energy. So I think good karma is on its way. You being in the right place at the right time, you might see it as a coincidence here, Aries, but it's really not. It's because you've done something, okay? You've got two sevens here. Maybe you've done something nice for someone else in the past seven days, seven hours, seven weeks, seven months even. But this is your return karma, okay? This is credit and debt. And what I'm seeing is that that's going to be balanced out for you in the upcoming week. Judgment can also be transitions here. The butterflies can symbolize massive metamorphoses taking place for you. The judgment card is also about making a very stern decision, okay? A very stern decision about your love life, about what you want for the future. 
It could also, things could fall in your favor if you have your work being reviewed or being put out there to the world for critiquing, for judgment, for review, for analyzing, for presentation. If you have something to present or something to put forward here, Aries, a job interview, for example, if you've got something to present or something, um, a, a comment to make or to pass, or if you've got judgment to pass here, I do believe this will be passed on in a very uh, positive way, in a very constructive way here. So there will be things that'll pan out very nicely here. It could also be a job contract coming in for some of you, okay? Uh, a job contract, possibly talking about getting engaged, talking about getting married, anything to do with legalities, anything that involves paperwork, any sort of massive changes. These legalities are opening up, the flowers are blossoming, opportunities opening up here for you. Things are ripening, okay? She's collecting the fruit because it's ripe and it's ready. So this could definitely be a week where you're collecting rewards, collecting money, collecting finances, uh, finally seeing growth in a relationship, finally um, opening up about judgments, uh, reservations if you've had any uh, with a certain person you've been dealing with. Um, but opening up yourself to karmic energy, okay? You're ready, you're opening up because you're ready to receive. So this is very auspicious, very, very auspicious for you in this upcoming week here. There could also be a new uh, a news coming in. I feel like she's trumpeting news. It's a herald. There's a message coming in for some of you, and it's it's a very lucky message, okay? Message of love, message for a new job, opportunity for a new job. There could be some sort of news or announcement that could be quite major, okay? Could be coming from a cancer here. You do have the sign of cancer. Could be from someone you've got a very strong emotional connection to. The chariot often represents uh, recognition, fame, being in the spotlight, being put on a pedestal here. Again, you can see there's the notion of being elevated. Some of you have a lucky break in the workplace, okay? You're being elevated to a higher position or you're being considered for something that you previously didn't think you have the skills for, Aries. Okay, you might have been somewhat intimidated by this on some level, um, but I feel like there's a very lucrative opportunity that will make itself known to you in the upcoming week. And it could be coming from a cancer boss. It could be someone that wants to partner up with you. It could be someone that wants to champion your work or really accelerate things. Things could definitely be accelerated. You can see the chariot diving into the waters here, the horses or the unicorns looking back in caution. But she wants to press ahead and move forward. She's so open and adamant that things will work out. She's so sure of herself. She's so confident that she's going to be successful and that she'll tread over these waters with no obstacle, with no challenge, with no barrier in her way. So attitude is everything, I think. And I, I know on some level you might feel that he Aries, and I think you're going to embrace it. It's a very welcoming energy. This could also point to an emotional connection here with someone, okay? Could be someone from the past. Uh, Cancerians are known to be quite sentimental. They can weep a dead horse. They can remember things from their past. They can be quite emotionally sensitive here as well. You might have someone coming through, okay? Um, if you've been waiting on this person, I do believe you'll be very happy to hear from them, Aries. It could be, abs uh, it could be someone from your past. It could also be closure, okay? Judgment is all about having everything out on the table, being very honest about how things ended or how things worked out in the past. Um, and if this is not someone coming in from your past, I feel like it's a very important conversation or announcement that'll make things easier, okay? That'll bring good fortune to, you, to your connection or to your life even uh, with the chariot card. But the notion of stepping into confidence becoming more emotionally aware, diving into something. I do believe there's serendipity for some of you, okay? Being at the right place at the right time. And you're, on some level, I feel some of you might feel it. But on another level, I just feel like you're so open to receiving it. And this is why karma is being cleared out. And you're receiving all of the good stuff, Aries. Welcome, in, welcome it in. Bring it in. Invite it into your life. You're deserving of it. Um, you're entitled. Embrace it. Don't let it change you. The butterflies are here, but this is all about bl blossoming in a good way. This is all about internal growth happening here for you as well. I will leave it at that though, Aries. A fantastic reading for you for the upcoming week. Please do not forget to leave behind a like or subscribe to my channel. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, have a fantastic week ahead and we shall be connecting soon. Thanks again and bye for now.